everyone, welcome back to my channel, The Man Cave, the channel you've never heard of. On today's episode of Throwback Tuesday, we'll be taking yet another stroll down memory lane, but this time with Final Fantasy 3. Ah yes, Final Fantasy, a timeless classic of big ass swords, sexy heroines, and sentimental mushiness that'll make you want to cry your eyes out. However, in order for you not to be confused, we're going to have to clear up a few things. Final Fantasy 3 was released in North America in 1994. It was the first time I had ever played a Final Fantasy game. Needless to say, after finishing the game after 60 plus hours, I was pumped and ready for Final Fantasy 4 to be released. What the hell? What happened to Final Fantasy 4, 5, and 6? But the real question I should have been asking myself was this. What happened to Part 2, 3, and 5? Yeah, I told you this would get confusing. So here's what happened. The original Final Fantasy was released in both Japan and North America. Okay, simple enough, right? However, Final Fantasy 2 and Final Fantasy 3 weren't released outside of Japan. So when Final Fantasy 4 was announced and released, they decided to call it Final Fantasy 2 in North America, since we didn't get the real Part 2 and 3, and it decided to be less confusing. Yeah. And of course, the same shit happens yet again when Final Fantasy V was released in Japan but not in North America. Fast forward a couple more years later and we arrive at Final Fantasy VI. When it was announced that it would come to North America, they decided to keep the whole numerical gaggle fuck thing going and call it Final Fantasy III. But all this changed when Final Fantasy VII was released in North America and they said to hell with it. Whatever Japan calls it, we'll call it. And this was also the first time that Europe received their first official Final Fantasy game in Europe, PAL version. Alright, and on to some gameplay. Hey everybody, hope you enjoyed the history lesson here we are with Final Fantasy 3. Hope you enjoyed this game, it's one of my favorites. I hope uh, you like this rendition of Throwback uh, Tuesday. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland and magic simply ceased to exist. One thousand years have passed, iron gunpowder and steam engines have been rediscovered and high technology reigns. You guys are going to love the music in this game, I, I mean I get goosebumps playing this. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. I mean, this is probably one of the best RPGs of all time, it's up there with Secret of Mana and Chrono Trigger, those games, but I mean, this is just epic on a whole nother level. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? You guys are going to see like uh, the, mo the infamous intro when it comes to Final Fantasy. This is really, really, really infamous right here. You guys are a part of history right now, so I hope you enjoy it. Alright, here we are. So this game has been uh, re-released a bunch of times. It was released on the Game Boy Advance. It was released on the PlayStation 1, um, the Virtual Wii, uh, a bunch of things, man. Dexter, okay, Wedge. Hard to believe an Esper has been found intact there 1,000 years after the War of the Magi. Mm-hmm. Vix, think it's still alive? Wedge, probably, judging from the urgency of our orders. I thought it was supposed to be Wedge and Waltz. I guess that's another version. And this woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? I heard she fried 50 of our Magitek armored soldiers in under 3 minutes. Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. Oh yeah, and it was re-released on Android too. Just recently actually, the past couple months. We'll approach from the east. Move out! So the Magitek armor are the things that they're in right now, which also made uh, another appearance in the new MMO, Final Fantasy XIV, A Realm Reborn. Alright, so this is the intro thing that I was telling you guys about. When people saw this, they're like, whoa, what the fuck, this is crazy. I was the same way too, and this summer here is epic. You like my little air guitar? So let's uh, skip this. You guys can watch it on someone else's YouTube channel later if you want to. Alright. 
Uh, let's put her on point. No sense taking any risk. Forward. Yeah, good job, cowards. Okay. <laughs> they won't let me escape. The Esper's got to be in here. Move out. All right, I guess I got to go forward. All right, so the name of this town is called Narsh, if I'm pronouncing it right. Imperial Magitek armor? Not even Narsh is safe anymore. I don't know if it's Narsh or Narshi. Narshe. All right, so typical battle system here. All right, let's go with the uh, fire beam. Because, you know, they're in ice, right? So fire is probably the last thing they want. And we'll go with Bolt. And Magitech. We'll go with Tech Missile. There you go. So obviously, uh, the girl with the question marks, her name's Terra, which you'll... Well, I don't know if you guys will get a chance to see that or not, because I'm not going to play too much. But yeah, you know, simple, old school, Final Fantasy style. You take turns attacking. Doesn't seem like the greatest now when you compare it to most other games. But um, the game really shines in the character development and the story. The story is awesome. There's so many characters in this Final Fantasy that you guys are going to like. Um, if you guys give this game an opportunity, um, I mean, I mean, people always compare Final Narsh Freedom depends on us. Always uh, compare Final Fantasy VII to Final Fantasy VI to which is the best Final Fantasy. I mean, I personally prefer Final Fantasy VII, um, but Final Fantasy VI is like right there. It's like almost like they're almost tied for first place, both of them. But I would have to say VI is second place for me. All right. Um. And actually, what I was mentioning, what I was talking about earlier was that Terra, the girl with the question marks, um, she's one of the few true magic users left in the world. And uh, these people are able to use magic because of these armor things that they're inside of. It's not real magic, it's like fake magic, I guess. So, actually, if you guys have played this before, let me know in the, uh, in the comments below. If you guys like this, give it a thumbs up. Um, I was actually inspired to do this video from another YouTube video that I saw. I mean, I didn't exactly... You know, it wasn't you know exactly the same, but I kind of was inspired, and I, I think it turned out all right. Tell me what you guys think. Tell me if you liked it or not. I hope this one gets. Uh, I hope people enjoy it. It took me a little bit longer to. Uh... We've got them trapped now. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in the past few days, guys. This it took me a while to upload. Not upload, but edit. I mean, it's not the greatest editing job. I'm still learning. Obviously, my YouTube channel is new. But uh, all right, let's go with. Uh... I, no, ice beam, no bolt beam. We're gonna go with the uh, fire beam here. And look, she can use real magic here. We we'll use regular fire. So this is she's gonna be able to use this when she's not in her armor later on in the game, and she'll learn other spells. And, and the thing that we're looking for is an Esper. And if you played other Final Fantasy games before, Esper's are uh, summons basically. And I think they used the, na the name Esper's in Final Fantasy 13, which I did not like at all. All right, so my character's gained some levels. Cool. Earn some GP. I don't think I can. Oh, yeah, I can. So we're looking for an Esper, a summon that's frozen in ice, which we'll see here. I think that's where I'll cut off this video is when we reach it. All right. Go in here. Uh, we must defend the mines. Well, you got to give them props for defending their hometown. This is a woolly mammoth. All right, Magitech, fire. Fire beam. Just going to spam fire beam. Seems like the most powerful spell. And, um, no, no, but this game, I mean, this game will take you hours on hours to beat this game. Because there's so many characters to enjoy, and it's really a really great game. Because I can't speak volumes enough about how awesome this game is. And actually, guys, let me know in the comments which Final Fantasy you guys prefer the most. Is Final Fantasy VI your favorite? Is there another one that you prefer? Because, you know, there's <laughs> quite a few Final Fantasies. Especially when you talk about the ones that aren't numbered, the ones that are numbered incorrectly, the ones that have... A Final Fantasy name in the title, but it's not a Final Fantasy game. I don't know if that makes sense. For example, Final Fantasy Adventure was actually the first part of the Secret of Mana trilogy. So yeah, I'm really a sucker for these old school games. I mean, come on guys, old school games are the best, man. Alright, so here we go. We're going to go inside the mines now. According to our source, the Frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Ah, thanks for the useless bit of information. Alright, so we're going to go in here. And of course, you gotta admire random battles. So I don't wanna talk through battles so much. I mean, I mean the battles. I mean, I mean, look at it, guys. I mean, <laughs> when you compare it to games nowadays, I, I know it's not extravagant, like I mentioned earlier. But uh, grinding is, mm, 
you know, a part of RPGs, especially JRPGs, it's necessary. But the cool thing about it is that there's so many characters to choose from that you don't really mind the grinding because then you learn all these new skills from your different characters and you're not stuck with the same characters and you get bored, you know? Once you've grinded out a little bit with you know, your certain characters, just switch them out for other ones and you can learn other spells and whatnot. So that's what makes it great. Alright, here we go. I'll handle this, stand back. Ah. Alright, brother. Show us how it's done. Ah, sweet. We won't hand over the Esper. Whack, get him! Coward. Oh shit, our first boss, guys. Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? And stores the energy in its shell? Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Alright, already. Oh, alright already. <laughs> well, it's not a very common expression. Okay. Oh, no, what am I doing? Okay, so we're not going to hit it with electricity. We're going to hit it with fire. Okay. So what this thing's going to do is it's going to hide itself inside of its shell after it takes a certain amount of damage. And if you attack the shell, when it's inside of its shell, then it's going to cast this very powerful lightning attack on all of us and it might kill us. So... Oh, no, no, shit. I... I picked a fire attack and now he's gonna hide inside. Fuck. See? Because when I when I chose it, he wasn't inside the shell yet, but now, look, this is what I talked about. And now he's dead. Let's see if- nope, I have no, uh, <laughs> no way to revive my friend here. So I'm gonna have this ready so as soon as he rematerializes. Actually, I don't know if this version lets me. I might have to defend for the next turn to to go by before I can attack again. Okay, here he goes. And I don't think I'm going to survive this fight, guys. I'm not too sure, man. I should have healed before the battle started. But I do have potions. That's what I'm going to do. On the next one, I'm going to heal myself. He should be dead after this. I'm not too sure. This guy wasn't too hard. It's been a while since I played this, guys, so bear with me. Okay, no. Woof! Okay, perfect timing. He's going inside of the shell. I'm going to give myself a potion. Just in case. And you always want to give the potion to your main character. Because if she dies, even if the rest of your party is alive, the game's still over. But not in this Final Fantasy, actually. Because even though Terra is probably the quote unquote main character, there's not a true official main character. Because you don't have to have Terra in your party, if I remember correctly. Which is pretty cool. Alright, here we go. So I think after this attack, he should be dead. Attack him once or twice more. Alright, cast a little fire beam. Vix is about to die soon. I'm pretty sure in the other versions of Final Fantasy VI that Vix is called Waltz. Because there's always. I'm pretty sure. Because there's always Wedge and Waltz, just like how there's always a Sid in every Final Fantasy game. Alright, he's in his shell again. So I'm going to have Terra def give him a tonic. And if I remember correctly, tonics heal just like potions do. Let's see. He's going to defend. Oh, no, no, no. I have the, uh... Yeah, it does. I have the healing spell. Shit, I forgot about that. Told you guys, I'm rusty. I haven't played in a while. Okay. Yeah, see? Cure. And she, her magic tech armor, she also has one. Heal force. Alright, so let's defend. Otherwise, he's going to stay in his shell forever. Okay. Perfect. He's out of his shell. Now we're going to attack him with fire beam. And hopefully, this should just about do it. Hopefully. What are you talking about? I didn't attack your shell. Okay. Damn it, this is taking way longer than I was hoping for. Alright, so let's just do some heal force. He's gonna heal himself. I'm gonna heal myself. Guys, if you lose this battle, you should really, uh. <sighs> play some Legos or something, man, because this this first battle is not difficult, it's just time-consuming. And I hope you guys aren't getting bored yet, but trust me, these types of games are a little bit more fun to play than to watch other people play, but except when I play, because, you know, when I play, it's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> Alright, there he goes. He's dead, finally. 
So guys, do you guys enjoy RPG games? Those of you who subscribe to my channel, or any of you new guys who aren't subscribed, do you guys like RPGs? Do you guys not like RPGs? Do you prefer Japanese ones over Western ones? I want to know what you guys think, you know? I want you guys to be more interactive. And for those of you subs that subscribe to my channel but don't comment very often, what the fuck, man? I don't bite. I want you guys to comment. I want to know what you guys think and stuff. So let me know. God damn. Random battles. Alright, let's kill these guys quick. We'll get to the Esper. And then that'll be the end of the Throwback Tuesday. Oh, fuck. Wedge is still dead. Fucking crazy ass looking mice. Where rat? And you're dead. Alright. End of that battle. Alright, here goes the Esper. Finally. So it's like a summon magical creature type thing. This is the frozen Esper. I'm not going to give a spoiler, but Terra has something very important to do with Espers in this game. Try touch. Talk. Hey, what's the matter? Do you know something we don't? Hmm. Terra right now has like this crown thing on her head that she's being controlled by these guys. She's not actually not a bad person, she's a good person. These dudes are bad. The frozen creature began emitting an eerie light. Where's that light coming from? Wah! Yeah, you're already dead anyway. Hey, Wedge, where are you? What's happening? Girl. Dot dot dot. Dot dot dot. Hmm. Ah, this is looking pretty good now, huh, guys? You probably wonder, oh man, what happened to Terra? What's gonna happen next? Yeah, well, uh, <laughs> you'll find out if you guys play the game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed Throwback Tuesday, and I will see you guys uh, next week. And I'll be uploading more videos throughout this week. And I just want to apologize for not uploading videos the past few days. I was very busy this weekend, uh, but that's no excuse. And I'll make sure to get on that. Uh, pretty soon, so stand by for another video tomorrow and for the rest of the week. Alright guys, I guess you hope, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, for all you new people watching my video, please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Give it a thumbs up if you guys liked it. It really helps the channel out. And that's it. Alright guys, see ya, take care, and bye.